when the protests began in Syria in March of 2011, uh, Israel was completely shocked, meaning that all the, polit all the main political and security analysts were looking at the unfolding of the Arab awakening and were basically saying, well, we, we were surprised about Tunisia because we don't follow Tunisia very closely. And we were surprised about Egypt because, well, because we thought Mubarak was almighty and powerful. But we're really sure that no one is going to be able to touch Assad because his, his system is so entrenched, so based on coercion. He has shown such little uh, tolerance for internal protest. And of course, if you look at his father's uh, legacy, that is a legacy of zero tolerance regarding internal protest of dissent. So basically, most Israelis were saying there is no way that Syria 